Hey good people, it is Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about fun ways to style a white button up. And it is part of my Back to Basics series where I have shared with you all new and contemporary ways to give life to those basics that most of us have in our wardrobes. So today's video is once again all about the white button up and I feel like she gets a bad rap because either she's put in the work category, the business casual category, or she's put in the Sunday morning usher board ministry category. And you know that's not fair to sis because she can do a multitude of things and I'm going to demonstrate that to you all today. If that sounds good to you, make sure you are following me over on Instagram and TikTok for daily style and self-care inspiration. Subscribe to the channel. I don't want you to miss nothing, all right? And just keep watching. Let me start by saying that throughout the video I am wearing the same white button up. This one is from Cost. It has a detachable collar. I'm wearing it without the collar and so it's more of a Mandarin style. Again, y'all know I love basics with a little bit of an edge and so I thought leaving the collar off could also just give you the classic feel of it but make it also feel a little bit more refreshed or updated, okay? Uh, I have it tied here today but you will see a little bit later on. But yes, this Cost White button down has paid for itself in spades. I will make sure it is linked down below. Let's get to the first outfit though. So this outfit is very casual. I feel like for most people it is not. Um, but for me, this is my way to do things casually, okay? It is very much Mackenzie's mom. She got a call that there were some issues with the decorations committee uh, for the school PTA. They've been, you know, bickering quite a bit over whether or not they're going to use gold lame or sequins in the background for the annual school, school formal. And so she went down there to settle the dispute. And so she said, let me just throw a little something on. And she put on her white button down, okay? She tucked it into a pair of faux leather Bermuda shorts. These are from Aritzia. And in order to just kind of give you a little bit of pizzazz, because you gotta know who she is when she walks in the room, she threw on um, the Valentino belt, yeah. She had put that on because of that pop of gold that's there. And also because she knows something about textures. Mackenzie's mom saw my last video when I talked to you all about how to instantly amplify your style. Mixing textures will do it. She threw on a pair of patent leather loafers. These are by Loewe, okay? It is a very simple outfit head to toe. For me, once again, it is a very casual outfit, but kind of what takes it up the notch is the fact that I'm wearing faux leather shorts, right? And then I am wearing the patent leather loafers. It is the mixing of the textures. And I also feel like these shorts could be shorter, and if they were shorter, I probably would untuck the shirt. You all have seen me do that before in my spring capsule wardrobe video. But because of the length of the shorts, I felt like it made sense to tuck the shirt in. I usually will unbutton it down, uh, or unbutton it uh, a little just to show that peak of skin at the top if I am wearing it a bit more conservatively. And that is the first look. And then the next outfit is all about wearing a white button up, almost like a jacket, okay? So any button up can be worn like this, but I love the idea of wearing a white button down completely open, y'all, and then allowing for whatever that layer is underneath to be shown. It can be a cami, it could be a bralette, it could be a crop top. This for me is just a simple bralette. My crop top was in the wash, and so I threw on this bralette, but it can be whatever the base layer is that you want it to be having a button down and leaving it open to show that I think brings a different kind of appeal to your outfit because I'm always talking to you all about that third layer what can you put on top of your outfit what is the accoutrement that you can add to your outfit that is gonna get a girl the look okay and I think here the white button down is the bonus piece it is the added piece it adds a layer to the outfit okay and also because I want to once again find ways to take it out of the conservative category what I have done is put it on with my feather pants these are part of the daily sleeper pajama set I love the feathers around the bottom I think they instantly make any outfit look edgy okay and because we have those feathers I didn't want to do too much on the feet and so I am just wearing a pair of ASO strappy heels. I've had these forever girl. They're the shoes that keep on giving. They take a lick and they keep on 
ticket okay i've had this used for like five years and whenever i am trying to just give a sleek silhouette or have a barely dare sandal that's what i pull out and i think that's necessary here because the pants are loose the shirt is open so it's loose and so we need something to kind of make the outfit be a little bit more cinched and so you don't want to do a chunky shoe you want to do a sleek shoe and also it's important that you show that little peak of skin here or at least for me because once again it allows for the outfit to not just be one kind of thick silhouette from top to bottom you have different type of like pockets you got a little bit of skin you got the feathers you got the what head to toe head to toe you just the vibe is vibing okay is what I'm trying to say it's almost like puzzle pieces that start to fit together that's the goal with outfit number two and the next outfit is all about two bust down basics okay and it is my black slip dress from Jua. I've had this silk dress forever it is a piece for my wardrobe that I feel like throughout the years I've always found a way to style it up or to style it down I actually wore it recently with a pair of Jordans my bumblebee ones and with a moto jacket over my shoulders and I think it was a great example of con dress dressing but here what I have done is made it a little bit more refined less casual by tying the white button down in the front using a technique that I once learned was called a rosary knot not sure if that's the actual name but basically it's a way to tie a knot so that the tail on each side is kind of the same length and it makes the uh, the knot look a bit more refined okay uh, and so I am wearing it with my Chelsea Paris mules I just found out that these were back in stock so I will link them down below Chelsea Paris is a black owned brand and I think this whole outfit from head to toe it's just easy y'all it's something great to go to brunch in. Um, I can easily switch out the shoes for a pair of flat sandals and go shopping during the day. It is an easy, effortless look, and it's all about tying the white button down in the front. And the last outfit is actually what I am wearing today. I pulled out my skirt from Roman, which I believe is a Turkish brand. They do have an online presence. The last time I wore this was when I was in New York for Fashion Week, and and I love to wear this skirt, which some would call like a formal event skirt, in a way that makes it edgy or casual. You already know. That's just, that's my style pillar. Elevated simplicity, okay? And so what I like to do with this is two things. Number one, to wear it with a pair of um, penny loafers. You could also see it with a pair of sneakers. And then, as you can see here, what I have done is I have replaced that uh, bralette with a strapless bra. And I have tied the white button down in the front once again, giving you a little peek of skin on top of the high-waisted skirt. And because, once again, I'm trying to make the outfit edgy, I'm trying to bring the formalness of that skirt down, I've thrown over my shoulders my Bottega Moto jacket. This jacket is kind of a pebbled leather, and so what it also does, y'all, is it adds a bit of texture to the look as well probably my favorite outfit in the entire video uh, just because I think it kind of brings together every element of style that I enjoy the most it is the contrast dressing it is the texture it is the elevated simplicity of taking foundational pieces and wearing them in new ways and so don't ask me where I would wear this to girl I, the post office I don't safe way Trader Joe's okay it's giving a lot and you know if I just felt like I need to stun on somebody let the girls know I probably would trade out the gloss for a bright red lip <laughs> and then what could you tell me nothing is on that list okay and that is the last outfit in my five fun ways to wear a white button down video and that is it good people let me know down below which outfit speaks more to your style also do you own a white button down if so where is your favorite one from if not why not why is it a, a basic that you kind of veer away from which I've heard before in the comments which I think is so interesting I just want to know more about you all's everyday style let me know down below in the meantime once again make sure you're following me over on Instagram and TikTok for daily style and self care inspiration also subscribe to the channel and I will see See you good people cross the internet. Peace.